Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install your Facebook or MetaPixel on your Shopify store. So I'm going to assume that you've set up a data set within your Meta Business Manager. If you haven't done that already, link in the description down below on how to get started with the Meta Business Manager and also how to go ahead and set up a data set. So you do need a data set to do this part of the video and links in the description down below if you need help doing that. So anyway, here we are in our Shopify store and we want to go to online store and then we want to click on preferences right here and we'll scroll on down and you should see an option for Facebook pixel right here and Shopify makes it really easy to install your pixel or your data set on their store and it'll track all the different events for you like ads to carts and checkouts and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and click on set up Facebook. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on get started here. And you can follow all these steps right here. And then make sure you meet all these requirements right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and connect to our Facebook account. So that way Shopify can properly connect to your Facebook and meta information. So we're gonna go ahead and do connect account. And you would go through the process of logging into your Facebook account, very simple self-explanatory. And then we wanna to scroll to where we can find the business assets that we're using. So I have my Facebook page right here. If you have an Instagram account, you can go ahead and connect to it as well at this time. So you wanna make sure you select all the appropriate accounts that you have available to you. And then we wanna go ahead and connect them. So we'll click on connect. And then it's asking us to manage the Facebook and Instagram data sharing preferences. And so this might vary depending on your jurisdiction and what's allowed or legal. And I'm not a lawyer, so do your own research on this, but obviously the more information that you're able to send to Meta, the better that they can go ahead and optimize your ads and get you better results. So I would go at the maximum amount possible without breaking some local laws or something like that. So anyway, I wanna go ahead and click on save here. And then I need to go ahead and connect to a pixel. So I have my SEM training pixel that I'm gonna go ahead and click on connect for and then I can fill out my contact information which is automatically pulled in from Shopify so I'm going to go ahead and click on save and then I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions and submit for review and it's going to take a few minutes to set everything up for me so don't refresh the page and there we go I'm ready to start selling on Facebook sales channels and I'll go to go ahead and click on done here and you may also notice like on the right hand side Shopify does make it so you could upload a catalog straight into your Facebook business manager and you can use that catalog to create ads as well. Now that's beyond the scope of this video, but now that you've made that connection between your Shopify store and your meta account, if you want to explore the catalog feature later on, you definitely can. It makes it very easy to do so. But what we're focused on right here in this video is installing our pixel and tracking our conversion events. And we've done enough to get that set up. So now it's a matter of actually testing it out to make sure it works. So to do that, we want to go back to Facebook or Meta and we want to come out of here and go to our events manager. And I want to come down here to data sources. And then I need to select the data set that I used on my Shopify store. So I have my SEM training data set. So I'm going to click into this. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on test events here. And then I want to go ahead and confirm your website's events are set up correctly. And then I need to plug in the URL to my website. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and open my website. And now I need to go ahead and trigger some events to test it out. So, you know, the most important one is trying to buy something. So I'm going to go ahead and try and buy something. So I'll click on buy now. I'm on the product page. I can go ahead and select a option here. I can click on add to cart after selecting my sizes. So let's do that real quick and now add to cart. So now the product is in my cart. I'm going to go ahead and click on checkout here and I'm on the order form page and it would be ideal to go ahead and actually purchase the product to make sure that your purchase events are firing off. But let's come back over here to the test events area and let's see if things are happening. So we have some events being fired and we can see subscribe button click, which is automatically logged a couple times. And that's because I clicked different buttons on my site. And then a page view event triggers on every single page that I visit. But then I have the initiate checkout event that also happened. And that's because I started to go through the checkout process, right? So I popped open my order form here. And now if I went through and I purchased this product, it should trigger a purchase event. And so if I was doing this for real, I would go ahead and do that and make sure it works. And I could then go ahead and refund myself. But you can see that my events are firing off and it looks like everything is working. So my pixel is all installed and Shopify is super helpful in passing the appropriate events over like the initiate checkout one or the purchase event. So it's tracking the events automatically for you and you don't have to go through the process of setting up what type of event occurs when somebody does this action or that action. And so they make it really easy for you. And plus they also gave you that catalog option which can be beneficial to you at a later date. So anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. So likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyartmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.